Um, Lee from Lee Bishop Photography here. This is um, the second part of uh, editing video I'm going to do. The first part I just put this image together, um, a really simple um, composite of three different frames. Okay, so um, you can have a look for that in my YouTube channel. Okay, and on to the face. Okay, that's where I start next. You can have a look at her face. Okay, see what I might need to retouch in there. Um, first thing I do is I get a blank layer on top and I do my healing and I start off with the spot healing brush tool um, and just see what I can spot heal with that. I'm at about 100 and it's like what 180 percent so it's fairly close. Okay, she's got a lot of texture on her skin um, and the sun you know is picking up. It was quite harsh sunlight so it's not really the most flattering light to be in. We also had no makeup artist on the shoot so um, there's not really any, any makeup going on except a bit of eyeshadow and that's actually what these shiny areas are. Um, I believe it, it's little pieces of glitter from her eyeshadow so it's a little bit of a pain. They're getting picked up by the sun and I want to get rid of them all so um, I'm just going to spend a little bit of time doing this with my spot healing brush tool. You see I'm just literally brushing over the tiny little areas that I want to get rid of. Uh, you don't want to overuse this and especially not on a really big area because it will kind of blur the skin texture a bit and that's not ideal. I've got it set to sample all layers because I'm working on a blank layer um, rather than on the image itself. Um, content aware and I'm using a, a Wacom tablet to do my editing with. Um, you could do it with a mouse. For me it would take forever to retouch with a mouse. so. I figure it takes me long enough already. So I'm going to just keep doing this and I'm going to stop talking because I'm going to speed up this part of the video so you don't have to sit and watch me do it all. So here we go. Okay, right. Hi guys, back. So that took me about like five minutes or something. So, um, you know, there's still a lot of texture in her skin, or four of them. I'm not going to get rid of all of that, but sort of that's before and that's after. So just a few minutes um, with the healing brush. Spot healing brush, sorry. You can use a healing brush. I just don't really like it as much as I used to since it was updated and find the spot heal works okay for this, so that's what I use. Just have a look um, over the rest of her skin and see if there's anything, and I think there's these few little areas here that can probably be just a bit distracting. Okay, and that looks fine. Okay, right, so let's just label that healing layer, heal skin. Okay, the next thing I do is dodge and burn. Okay, so I use the Retouching Academy beauty panel. Um, it just sets up my layers really quickly for me. So I just press the local dodge and burn curves um, and it gives me um, a burn curve with a black layer mask. So it's just a curve that's been brought down a little bit and a dodge curve that's been brought up a little bit. They both have black layer masks on it, so I can paint on white to reveal the areas that I want to reveal. Um, it also sets up a really handy visual aid layer, which converts to black and white using a 50% gray um, fill layer on color blend mode. And that just gets rid of color without altering um, the luminosity values in the image. Um, and there's a curve layer on top, which um, you can adjust depending on the area you're working on, um, if you want to brighten or darken an area or add a bit more contrast to see um, skin tone unevenness a bit more easily. 
Um, so I usually leave it where it is to start with. When I leave that on top, I like working with that on. Um, and then I get my brush. Which again, I can just press the little brush next to the dodge and burn, and it gives me a brush at 100% opacity and 1% flow, which is what you want when you're dodging and burning, I think. Um, sometimes I up the flow to 2 or 3%. Um, depending on what I'm doing, but you need to be a bit careful if you go too high. Um, lots of subtle changes is, is better than going in heavy-handed. Um, and then it's a soft brush. So I would start by just having a look from a distance and seeing what areas might need to be brightened up. And I'll start uh, painting white on my dodging mask. Now I think when I'm filming this, um, you can't see my brush strokes. So, oh, hang on, my two year old. Next. Back me up. Ben, shh. Hang on a second, Ben. I can't pick you up right now. I'm working. I'm doing a video. Do you want anything, Ben? Oh, I'm just going to put yes. that to 2%. What do you want, Ben? You'll have to excuse my two-year-old who wants stuff all the time. It's nothing but a long list of wanting. Okay, so I'm going to speed this, this bit up as well. But basically Mama, what I'm doing is any areas that are too dark, like Mama. here. Mama. 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 So there's a little area there. Mama. Mama. You know, areas like this, this, um, there. Of areas in there. Anywhere like that that's too dark, um, I'm going to brush on my layer mask for my dodge curve to bring up brighter areas and anything that's too light, like that little line around the scar on that edge. Um, or we have a spot down here, so the darker area of the spot, that side of it, the little Pac Man shape. I'm going to brush that with my dodge and then the lighter area here is going to get burned down and that will flatten it out and that will make that spot disappear. Um, so I'm going to just get on and do that. It's going to take a little while. Um, so I'll be zooming in and out as well. You'll, you'll see me zoom out to sort of this kind of distance to have a look. And I'll zoom right in sometimes, maybe not to pixel level, but you know I will go into 400% sometimes. Um, Again, probably unnecessary for most of the time, but um, if you want to get a totally flawless look with your skin, with micro-dodging and burning, sometimes you've got to go go in. So, I'm going to get started and do that. Hi guys, right, so we've got a bit more dodging and burning. My son is here, so he might start talking as well. 
Um, I've just taken the visual aid layer off so you can have a look. Um, this is before and after. Still got a little bit of global dodging and burning to do, and um, it's not perfect yet, but I think we're certainly getting there. It's, it's certainly got a nice um, look to it now. Um, and what I'm going to do is just um, stop the video here in terms of the dodging and burning. I think you can pretty much see what I was doing um, in terms of local local dodging and burning. It just going in really close and uh, evening the skin tone out of it. Um, so I'm gonna stop this here.